Well, my dad was originally a native of Huntsville, Alabama, and he was a lieutenant colonel in the Army. And then after dad retired from the Army after 28 years, he joined the Department of Commerce. So he traveled the Southeast. So during the summers, I'd travel with dad. That's how I came to Tallahassee. And so I'm there with dad in Tallahassee, and I'm looking at this beautiful campus, all these palm trees, and man, were there girls. So uh, I enrolled in 1971 as a freshman at Florida State. I fell in love with a girl named Susan Miller. We started dating at the end of my freshman year. And by the end of my sophomore year, we're engaged. We got married at the end of my junior year. Two days before our first wedding anniversary, our son Ben was born and we knew she was pregnant when I was graduating from Florida State in March of 1975. So, you know, that last year or two, I, it was like, man, I gotta feed some mouths. At the time, we had one of the best accounting schools in the country, still do. We have a number of fields in the College of Business that are really the top-notch programs in the country. I loved it. I love my professors. The professors and the relationship with the students are much different at FSU than anywhere else. That's pretty unusual for a public university. I started working in New York in 1989, and I can remember uh, people snickering at me a little bit because I went to school at FSU. And now, that's not true. You know, I think we're as well respected in, as almost anybody in the country. A bunch of my buddies uh, were in the banking division of ADP that did bank data processing. Well, there was a chance we could do a leverage buyout of the banking division of ADP. So I joined them as head of sales and marketing. After we went public, they asked me to move from sales and marketing and heading up that function into doing all the acquisitions. So it, it was really fun to learn all about these new industries, then go meet all the companies in them and then figure out who to acquire. And you kind of have to, particularly if you're buying companies, you've got to be there before something happens. Otherwise you're paying too much. It used to be before I'd ever buy a company and I'd have a meeting with them. I'd show up at 7 a.m. and park in the parking lot and kind of try to hide. But to me, the best indicator of whether I wanted to buy a company was how many people came in before 8.30. You know, if you had half the parking lot full at 7.30, you knew this company had a great sense of enthusiasm, the employees liked what they're doing, and it might be one of the best indicators of whether you want to buy a company. So we grew to over a billion dollars in revenue from 40 million pretty quickly. And then a bunch of my partners had a private equity firm called Bluff Point. And we were investing in financial technology companies. And so they asked me to join them as a partner in Bluff Point. And then we went on to make a lot more acquisitions. I retired from Bluff Point in 2014. So that was you know, pretty much my business career. And I've had the, the great opportunity in the last several years to serve on the Board of Advisors for the Student Investment Fund, which is $3 million run by the students. So it's a very hands-on thing. They have to come in and tell us why they invested in different things. We don't want to make their decisions. We just want them to have to justify their decisions. I, I think we've had you know, close to 100% employment rate on anybody that was involved in the Student Investment Fund. If I was going to give any advice to somebody going into business, I'd say, man, this is fun stuff. Learn everything you can. And I've always believed in a, a kind of a theory, and that was one step further. You only have to take one more step than anybody else to do more, to go further, be the best in customer service or be the best in business. Focus on learning all you can, but just remember, take that one step further to surround yourself with people more successful that you want to be like. There's some simple things that I think help bring success to anybody, but it's usually not just the individual. It's being able to pick up these traits that make people more successful and hopefully you're one of the beneficiaries of it.